Hello fellow programmers, this is another C-sharp exercise from Coding Homework. My name is Pavel and today we are going to write an application that creates and returns a one-dimensional array containing all the elements of the two-dimensional array. We will store the values in a row major format, meaning we'll go row by row, not column by column. For testing purposes, you may do a compile time in initialization of 12 by 5 two-dimensional array. We will display both the two-dimensional and the one-dimensional array and we will make sure that the numbers are aligned. So we will be creating a two-dimensional array populating with integers and then we will move all the values all the, uh, from the two-dimensional array into a one-dimensional array row by row. All right, so uh, let's create our two-dimensional array of integers and I'll call it, descriptively enough, two-dimensional array. And we will initialize it to the 12 by 5. 12 by 5. So 12 rows and 5 columns. I'm going to create a one-dimensional array and call it, again, very descriptively, one-dimensional array. And this one will be initialized um, with the, the number of elements that are contained in two-dimensional array. So we will simply do the two-dimensional array dot length. So if you change this to, let's say, 5 by 5 or something, this will automatically be changed with it. It will contain as many spots uh, for uh, as, ma as many spots for elements as the two-dimensional array holds. All right, um, I'm going to populate the two-dimensional array with a bunch of random numbers. Uh, so I'm going to create a random numbers uh, equals new random. And... Um, I will need, nah, well maybe later, uh, let me just populate the two-dimensional array first, so for integer, I'll do r for rows, equals 0, r is less than, and we have 12, and r plus plus, and we, that's the outer loop, now the inner loop will be 4, integer I do C for columns C is less than 5 because we have 12 by 5 and C plus plus and within the body we will do the two-dimensional array of the index of row and column so R and C equals and we will just assign it some random number so rand dot next and let's say uh, they don't really specify so let's do numbers from 0 to 100 so since it's 100 we do 101 because 101 is exclusive meaning that it's going up to 100 not including 101 oh, this is a typo so r and c so this will populate our two-dimensional array and we can as well populate our one-dimensional array as well. So our one-dimensional array. But now the thing is, what is the index of the one-dimensional array that we are populating? Well, we don't have that. We cannot really do it from the uh, columns and rows. So I'm going to create another variable called counter. And that will be my index. I'll initialize it to 0, so it will start from 0, so the index of counter. And it equals, and I cannot do another random number because that would be a different number than the two-dimensional array was just assigned. So instead, I'm going to populate it with the number that was just put into the two-dimensional array. So R and C. So our one-dimensional array now holds the same number that our two-dimensional array was just uh, 
uh, assigned to like a random number was generated assigned to two dimensional array of the index of r and c and that same number was uh, now put into our one dimensional array with the index of counter so for the first iteration the counter is zero so now we have to increase the counter for the next iteration so that will populate our arrays now we can actually just uh, output them so we will do our console dot right line and we will output two dimensional array and one dimensional array so our two dimensional array and under that we will output the numbers in the rows and columns format so we need another for loop i'm gonna actually copy paste this little block here and um, in it we will simply output the the number so console that now i'm gonna use the right line but it's wrong and i'll show you why uh, we cannot use right line in order to do columns i mean rows and columns but let's uh let's first see that in action so we'll output the r and c so we are outputting one number at a time and when the uh when the row is finished we will we will write another uh another line which would be blank you'll simply move to the next row we will we'll add another blank line so uh, we will do new line so again this will output the row uh, numbers uh, in a row and at the end when this is done we will output a new line so it comes over here again and outputs a second row and so forth all right so that's that and uh, yeah let's see what it does if it's gonna compile oh it didn't I'm, uh, I forgot a bracket somewhere uh, okay all right I see so I'm just gonna add the bracket and um, if I run it now okay it outputs and you can see we don't really have we have the numbers random numbers in five uh, one two three four five numbers uh, in one badge and then another five but we want them in the row and then this one this column or this row would be second row and so forth so instead of right line we'll simply do right and the same over here uh well this one actually can stay no this one will need to be right as well what happens is uh, with the right line it outputs a line and moves to the next one with the right it keeps continue it continues to keep writing uh, numbers or whatever output you have following the previous output so i'll show you so now we have rows and columns the problem is that all these numbers are being put together you don't, you cannot tell if this is one or if it's 14. so over here we are going to append an empty space so it will write a number then space then another number and space and so forth and at the end of the line it will also append the new line and goes to the next row so if I do it now, we have uh, columns and rows as expected. We have five columns and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Since it's twelve by five, twelve rows. So that's our two-dimensional array, and now we need to do our one-dimensional array. So I'm gonna borrow this and do one-dimensional array. And this one will just have a single for loop since it's one dimensional it, it doesn't have an uh, outer and inner loop it's just one for loop for integer i equals zero and i is less than the one dimensional array dot length we could also use two dimensional array dot length because you know they match but in case something goes wrong you want to do the one dimensional array 
so we don't get out of bounds and one plus plus and over here we can simply write the uh, console that write again just write not right line a one dimensional array of i and we will add the space now this will output all the numbers however it won't be in the right format you can see that uh, you can compare that the numbers actually match uh, they go in the same order as the two-dimensional array but we need to split them the way the two-dimensional array is and the two-dimensional array since there are, it is in uh, initialized with 12 by 5 we know that after outputting five numbers we go to a next uh, next line so we can come over here and do our if how do you recognize if it's the fifth number well if it's the mod of five if that equals zero in other words if you can divide it by five and there is no leftover that means it's and the first number to do that uh, from zero to mm, whatever would be five one two three four five the fifth number when divided by five it gives you zero uh, as the leftover so when that happens we can add uh, i'm sorry this is uh when we encounter the fifth number we can output the new line move the cursor to the new line and start outputting the uh, next row all right so if i run it now i have exactly the same output for both two-dimensional and one-dimensional arrays so yeah this is it it wasn't that bad i hope <laughs> it was uh, the only thing to really remember is uh, how to split the array into rows um, when it's one-dimensional array and how to use console.write instead of console.write line when you are outputting the numbers next to each other instead of uh, each of the each of the numbers into its own line all right so this was the exercise i hope it was helpful if it was please leave a like share with your friends leave a comment and i will see you in the next video take care